Hey there. My name is Daryl Woods. I work in adult services at Hollywood St. Paul's, and this is 10 Quick Facts About Last Year's Best-Selling Books. Okay, number one. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover is a 2016 novel about a woman who falls in love with an enigmatic surgeon who breaks his no relationships rule just for her. As she struggles to make things work with a man of her dreams, the man from her past, who she got along with so easily, returns to her life. Number nine, 2018's Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens is a story about a woman who lives in the marsh and is accused of a murder. As she emerges from hiding, two men in town become intrigued by her wild beauty, and she's interested in them. Number eight, Big Shot, the 16th installment of Jeff Kinney's Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, Greg is convinced by his mom to try out for basketball. He gets placed on the worst team with a crew of misfits. Number seven, Charles Mackesy's The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse from 2019 is a picture book for adults in the vein of The Tao of Pooh. It blends short handwritten notes with dozens of illustrations to explain this unlikely friendship and some universal truths. Number six, in Laura Dave's Last Thing He Told Me, the protagonist discovers her husband has disappeared and left behind a note, uh, nothing but a note, asking her to protect his daughter, a teenager who wants nothing to do with her new stepmother. When the FBI and federal marshals start hunting her husband for criminal reasons, the protagonist goes on a quest with her stepdaughter to find her husband and find out who he really is. Number five, 2020's Midnight Library is a novel by Matt Haig that illustrates a place between life and death where you can change your own fate by selecting a book where you made a different choice. Number four, Atomic Habits by James Clear is a nonfiction book from 2018 about how to create good habits and break bad ones. The premise is that you aren't to blame for your inability to break bad habits and replace them with good ones. The problem is your method of trying to do that. Number three. In America's Marxism, arch-conservative Mark R. Levin attempts to explain the pervasiveness of Marxism in the liberal policies of today's American politics. Number two. Kristen Hanna's The Four Winds tells the story of a courageous and sacrificial woman during the Great Depression and reflects the harsh realities of that time and the confrontations between the haves and the have-nots. And finally, the best-selling book of last year was Mothering Heights, the tenth book in the Dogman series by Dav Pilkey. Dav Pilkey, of course, also famously wrote the Cop Captain Underpants stories. All right, so um, this is obviously all the best sellers regardless of genre. Um, the information came from USA Today, and so I thank you for watching, and I thank you, Melissa, for putting this all together, everything we saw today. Um, and until next time, enjoy yourself.